Welcome to the OTOP series and it stands for One Target, One Purpose on every Monday morning, 9am Singapore time or Hong Kong time we're going to share with you one very potential counter that could come from all over the world any exchanges around the world alright, it could be a stock market, it could be FX or it could be ETF, it could be a futures product, it could be anything so stay tuned with us, Monday morning 9am, log on to us, subscribe and I shall be back Welcome back to the OTOP 92, alright, and uh, well, this is for the week 9 of May, year 2022. Yes, first of all, we have seen the US Federal Reserve uh, raising interest rate last week, alright, and uh, bringing the Fed funds rate to 1%, alright, for a long time we have not seen a 1% interest rate. And also the Bank of England also raised the benchmark rate by a quarter percent, which is also 25 basis points. All right, bringing the uh, interest higher. All right, so on Thursday and Friday, we have seen a plunge in the stock market, uh, which is in US as well as in UK. <coughs> All right, so while we are looking at stock market getting weaker in May, all right, we have been uh, predicting this all this while, all right? And uh, the next thing we're going to look at is always the US dollar index, which last week we were talking about uh, the dollar is pretty high and it could be coming down anytime in May and most likely it'll be after mid-May, all right? That's very important because raising the um, interest rate, the Fed funds rate may not necessarily bring the US dollar to be stronger because the US dollar index is already now currently in the region of 103 to 104 that is very very strong over the last two years right first of all let us uh, take a look at friday uh, what did the market close at and before we move into our forecast for this week right on friday the dow jones closed um, with a loss of 98 points all right closing price 32,899 and uh, the s p 500 was also down all right closing with a loss of 23 points and nasdaq actually plunged 173 points all the triple indexes were down all right gold prices gold prices are actually uh, have been trading well in fact the support uh, has been identified at uh, 1850 okay that's 1850 us dollars per ounce and the market closing price on Friday was 1882. All right, pretty good. And in fact, we are still looking at gold prices to be holding well and recovering um, anytime from mid May onwards to June. All right, the WTI crude um, elevated. All right, closing price at 110 US dollars, climbing up from last week uh, from 105. All right, and we are still looking at oil prices to be a bit firmer due to the Ukraine war okay we can war outbreak but then again this week we are not going to talk about gold prices or wti just a rough feedback all right so well and of course on friday um the uh, us non-farm payroll was uh, pretty good and the, the payroll grew at uh, at a rate that is uh, more than forecast and then we look at the figure here. I think it is about 426,000 payroll growth in April. And the market traders are worried of uh, such growth may actually stop higher inflation and more rate hike will be coming in, in the future months. But my point is, regardless, we have a strong payroll or we have a reducing payroll. Definitely, we're still going to see a series of rate hike this year, all right, especially all the way moving to the year end, all right. So this is our small little feedback and our valuation on market sentiment. Okay, let's take a look at last week we were talking about FXE. Okay, FXE is actually a euro currency trust that trades opposite the US dollar index. And obviously, like last week we mentioned, we are looking at the dollar index could be moving down anytime, which is the reason why we recommended and we talk about FXC could be a good time for you to buy this ETF. But then again, if you have 
set up a long position last week. In fact, you're not losing money, but uh, you're almost at the money and the market is still floating at the, at the rate of about 96, 97 or even 98 without much difference. All right, so if you're holding on to FXE ETF, continue to hold. Okay, this is a whole uh, status for this counter because uh, more good things could be coming, be patient. All right, and we foresee that uh, definitely the dollar is going to fall soon. All right, if not this month, it could be next month. But uh, going long on FXC at this region is pretty near to the bottom. So continue to hold and stay tuned and watch the market. All right, do not be panicked. Good things are coming. So this week, what are we going to talk about? In fact, as I mentioned, well, uh, with this uh, rising payroll on Friday, this week, uh, most likely out of the market fear, we are still looking at the uh, Dow Jones, S&P, Nasdaq, component stocks to be going down. All right, to be going down. So, well, things are a little bit jittery and um, not easy to handle, definitely. All right, but then again, in all top 92, Today, all right, for the week 9 May year 2022, we still have something for you. All right, just have a stay tuned for another about five minutes and we're going to reveal to you what is coming up this week. All right, and here it comes. Well, we are looking at this um, very special ETF. All right, and uh, it is known as the uh, SDS. All right, as I mentioned, because uh, we are not going to look at any selection on component stocks in the triple US market indexes and we are also not looking at Hong Kong or Singapore right so even you're looking at bank shares manufacturing mining I think everything will be flat so instead we are looking at an inverse ETF all right so while we're looking at the S&P to be softening and continue to move down all right we are going into an inverse ETF which is the Process ultra short S and P five hundred. This is a two time leverage. Okay, all right, two time, two times leverage on shorting the uh, S and P index. All right, so which means if you buy this index, you are actually shorting the S and P five hundred two times. All right, two times leverage. So very quickly, I just want to show you what this market is doing. On Friday, the closing price was uh, for the full forty four dollars and thirty one cents. All right, forty four dollars. US dollars trading in the uh, New York Stock Exchange, right? So it has actually gone up above the EMA 200 averaging line, all right? And we are looking at this um, instrument potentially could be going higher in the coming weeks. So if you could be holding to this position, probably in May itself, just in May, I think there's a lot of potential for it to go back up at least to about $50 or $51 or $52. So we have a room. I will not project too much because uh, this is a leverage ETF. But then again, on a short term, well, I think it's a good pick, and you should be looking at SDS, and that's a symbol trading in New York Stock Exchange. All right. So this is the uh, OTOP 92. We will share with you what we are looking at this week. All right. So make a choice, do some homework, take a look at the market. All right. OTOP is always right here waiting for you on every Monday morning, 9 a.m. and today. This is the old talk 92 for the week 9 May 2022. Thank you for watching us and don't forget to like us and share. We shall come back to you and talk more next week. Bye bye.